of the most powerful animals on the planet. Elephants, rhinoceroses, hippos, they, they don't eat meat, but yet they're like 4,000 pounds of muscle. Where does that muscle come from? And all they eat is green stuff. Hello, beautiful viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today, in the first of a two-part series, we meet filmmaker, painter, and one of the inspirational leaders of the raw food movement in the USA, Marcus Rothkranz. Marcus is the author of the ebook Heal Yourself 101, and recently released a DVD documentary entitled Free Food and Medicine about how wild plants provide excellent nutrition and can heal us. My name is Marcus Rothkrantz. I'm almost 50 years old and I look 20 years younger than I did 20 years ago. For many, Marcus is an outstanding role model who well represents the health and exceptional fitness of raw vegans. However, few people know that he was unwell as a child. Actually, I almost died four times in my life. When I was four years old, I almost died because I was born with a weak immune system. And I, this is in Germany, and my parents fed me uh, milk, sugar, bread. They thought it was good stuff back then in the 60s, and I was getting sicker and sicker. Marcus never smoked, drank alcohol, or used drugs, and tried everything possible, including changing his diet to improve his physical condition. I was allergic to animals, I had allergies like crazy. Um, and it took me 30 years to figure out what was wrong. I just got worse and worse. I went vegetarian, I still got sick. I went vegan, I got a little better, but I still got sick. There was still something missing. Uh, and by the time I was 27, I almost died. My heart started giving out, my liver was clogged, my kidneys were shot, um, it was bad. It was during this period that he decided to let go of everything and had an extraordinary experience that was the turning point of his life. And um, all my material things, I gave them all away, had nothing left, went out to the desert, took my clothes off and literally had my 40 days in the desert. And I woke up on a rock and first thing I saw was an eagle flying overhead and I saw the animals, the turtles, the coyotes, the rabbits, and that was my life. I was one with them. and. It was a new way of looking at life and all the answers came to me. After this event, Marcus realized that nature itself provides all the nutrients that a living being needs to survive. And I came back and really I didn't eat, I didn't drink, it was like I didn't need to. And somehow the sun was giving me energy. Basically, for eating, I know that natural fruits and vegetables are health. I just started with the basics and worked my way up. And the moment I started playing with anything that was made by man, that was cooked or, um, or may put into a package or a, a box or a jar or a bag, I started to feel bad. Marcus says that raw fruits and vegetables provide the greatest protection against cancer of any foods. And nature is perfectly designed. We can't improve upon what God's already created. Nature's already perfect. And the moment we try to change it, if you cook food, you kill the enzymes. Anything above 115 degrees, you're killing it. And you start slowly killing your body. The enzymes are the force of life. It's what we need in our bodies. Eating animal products and drinking alcohol can kill us. Marcus next discusses the example of his father. He was very aggressive, and he was brought up eating meat and drinking alcohol and um, you know, living the typical life. And he got aggressive prostate cancer. They said he had just a very short amount of time to live and he had to make a radical decision to change his life. That meant changing his lifestyle, his diet and everything. And he did, which is amazing because most people don't want to do that. And within 30 days, his PSA went down to zero. Wow. Five years went by, nothing. Marcus advocates that everyone avoid processed foods, as he says they do damage to the body. But there's something really important that people need to realize. What I'm talking about is not 
what most people think vegan or vegetarian is. V I still got sick when I was vegan. Why? Because most vegans think just because they're not eating animals that they're healthy. But they eat bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, cookies, cakes, pies, milk, processed food. And the minute you change something from the way it is in nature, you're killing yourself by doing that. And that's why almost everybody that goes raw, they're, all their health problems go away. Wild plants are viewed as the secret to optimal health by Marcus Rothkranz. He now explains why. Wild plants don't know they're going to get water. They're survivors. They don't even know if there's anything in the ground. So what they do is the wild plants, they grow roots very, very deep in the ground up to several hundred feet. People don't even know this. Red clover, which is only this high above the ground, has, has roots that go 124 feet underground. Why is something that a plant that's only this big has roots that go 124 feet? Because they suck up all the saponins, sterols, alkaloids, glycoside, everything from the ground, the vitamins, the minerals, and those are the richest plants on the planet. It's the wild stuff. It's not the stuff that's growing on a farm that we pay all this money for. And when you start eating this wild stuff, you start feeling like a survivor yourself. And you start getting all this energy, and it's amazing how your health conditions start going away. And that's the secret, is getting back to nature. Marcus recommends consuming fresh, raw vegan foods in a liquid state. And I realized after a while that solid food is a very low energy, even natural food. If it's heavy, if it's solid, it's a lower vibration. And then liquid food is a higher vibration. You clean out your mind, your body, and your spirit. And the more clean you are, the less you need to keep going. And the higher your vibration gets, and the more spiritual you get. If you have serious health problems, I always say do nothing but water for a while and then do juicing. Just juicing, because 70% of our body's energy goes into digesting food. Okay. And if we eat solid food, most of the energy that we would need to heal actually goes into digesting food. That's why we feel tired after we eat. Okay. A, because we don't chew our food enough. B, because it's probably not the right food. And C, because it has to break all this hard food down. So if you're sick, the first thing you do is stop eating. Just do liquids. And the, the fresh vegetable juices go right into your bloodstream. With a long history in the entertainment and motion picture industry, including directing a television movie in 1996, Marcus is using the power of media to inform, inspire, and enlighten people through his World Health Project. The World Health Project is a big giant uh, program that I've created to motivate people and inspire them to change their lives for the better become self-reliant, not depend on doctors for their health, to actually learn what it's like to be counting on yourself for your own health. Because the world can't heal unless we heal ourselves first. What really motivates people more than anything, and this is just getting honest, is what we see in the mirror. And we want to be loved, we want to be appreciated, and when you hit middle age you start worrying about hair loss and wrinkles and, and, and weight gain and cellulite and all those vanity issues. So I said, okay, well, the way you get rid of those is the same way if you actually cared about health. The foundation for a healthy life is a nourishing plant-based diet. However, there's more to healthy living than just choosing the right foods to eat. body, mind, and spirit. It's body, mind, and spirit. You have to have the whole thing in balance. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. It's like, you can get into the raw veganism to jumpstart, to feel like, to really realize what it's like to be in a body that's healthy. And when they feel better, they want to do more better things. And then they start caring about the environment and the world and helping others. That's really where it starts is with yourself. Now let's hear from some people who are raw vegans and support Marcus Rothkrans' promotion of the raw food lifestyle. It makes you feel better, it's living food, it changes your life, and it's amazing. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus is definitely an inspiration. Um, he definitely impacted my life in a positive way and we're just grateful to be behind him in any way we can. I had type 2 diabetes and five years ago 
it went away completely. My sister had diabetes and she got both her legs amputated. I could have went that route myself if I wanted to, but I chose the vegan way of eating, which is more healthy. You can hear what Marcus just said, and uh, it's, it's true, it works. It definitely works. Our thanks, Mr. Marcus Rothkranz, for sharing your knowledge and insights on the benefits of healthy, compassionate, raw vegan food. Indeed, as is recorded in the book of Genesis, God created every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit for our nourishment. Esteemed viewers, please join us next Monday on Healthy Living, where we will continue our engaging conversation with Marcus Rothkranz about raw foodism and constructive lifestyles. For more details on Marcus Rothkranz, please visit www.gorawnow.com. The ebook Heal Yourself 101 and DVD set Free Food and Medicine are available at the same website. Thank you for your presence on today's program. Next is Science and Spirituality after Noteworthy News. May we always treat each other with kindness and respect. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.